Hey, what's up, guys? So today let's do very uh, simple NP reduction. Uh, so we want to prove, we want to do the reduction from subset sum to the, to the, to the, to the knapsack. Okay. And uh, so in this video that I will assume that subset sum is a B complete. And uh, we do this very simple uh, to knapsack. So, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. So let me explain the detail or quickly review the definition. So the definition of the subset sum is that you take S, uh, which is a multi set in the computer science language. So multi set is a set which is allowed to duplicate it. And the S should be the subset of integer and then you take another integer K. So this is the given. And now your goal is to determine whether, uh, whether there's a S prime belongs to S such that uh, you take X X belongs to S prime, which is sum from K. Okay. And uh, this guy, uh, this problem is called the subset sum, so which is MP complete. Okay, so let me describe the knapsack. Okay, so knapsack uh, is very easy, right? So suppose, so the idea is that uh, uh, you, you, you get some uh, W vector, W is a vector, V is a vector, and then you get a large W and a large V. So W is a weight and then the V is a value, and then you get some possible, uh, you, you can choose a uh, possible uh, element. Okay, so decision version is that you need to ask, you need to ask whether, uh, whether what, whether uh, your weights, so whether there is a I, which is a subset of the item. So let's say maybe, let's take, uh they say they say the total the number of total things called n uh, a is a set but they said or i is a subset of uh, a such that uh, for every i i right, suppose you you take the the item that you choose the weight is less or equal to w and the the item the all the value in the item is greater or equal to v okay so this is the idea that whether you can and the uh, whether you should you can find a solution. Uh, you can pick some item which is satisfy the constraint, but give you more uh, weight. So this is this problem. The, the optimization version is like uh, the usual in the real world that somebody you have the finite resources and each item has the value and you want to maximize the value. And you can solve this problem using a dynamic programming. Okay. So this problem is also MP complete. Okay, so our video is to prove the subsets on the knapsack. And obviously that you can see all of these two questions is involve some integer, which is has some constraints. So actually these both are two are the special case of the integer linear programming. Okay, and uh, I think in previous, in my one of my video that prove vertex cover can reduce to integer linear programming. So you can use that point of view to prove that the both are unbecoming. But uh, in this video, we do subset sum to knapsack. Okay, so proof. Okay, so subset sum, uh, subset sum to knapsack. Okay, so proof is very simple, right? So how, so what should we do? Right, suppose somebody gives you S and K, right? So some, somebody gives you S and K, then uh, what, what you should do? Right? You, you should just set A to be S, and, uh, and uh, you want to, and then uh, you choose choose, you choose this wi to be the si, right? So let's say, say s is finite, right? You, so you label wi as si. So you first uh, list your s and then take wi to si and the vi equals to si. Uh, I should say, yeah, okay. Vi, vi like to xi and then choose w and v constraint both to be k. Okay, so in this case that uh, your results will be summation of uh, W i i billions i. So if you can solve the knapsack problem, that at least well the same as you solve, you want to find whether you get i such that uh, s i equals to k. Okay, uh, sorry, greater uh, uh less or equal to k. And uh, another, so this is equal. And another condition that become i billions i billions i and v i, which is the same as i billions i s i, which is greater equal to k. Okay, so combine these two, you get submission of S i, I belongs to i is k. So if you can solve the next problem, that is the same as whether you can solve, uh, whether you can solve the subs, uh, is that you, then you can solve the subset problem, right? So this is the instance of the subset. Oh, and then you do a reduction. So this gives you the instance of the knapsack. Okay, so this uh, proves the reduction. 
And uh, easy to prove that uh, if there is a no solution int, then there's no solution for this one. Okay, otherwise the contradiction, because this is purely algebraic. Okay, so this is a very simple video that proves something. Some is a website. Okay, see you guys uh, next videos.